question on tissue fluid, which I know is a really tricky topic in year 12. And if you're in year 13, make sure you do this question with me for revision. It says the water potential, I can use this symbol for that, water potential of the blood plasma is more negative at the venule end of a capillary than at the arterial end. Explain why. I'll just do you a quick diagram again. So you've got an arteriole carrying blood into the capillary network and then a venule carrying blood out. So these are all your capillaries here, right? Okay, so it's coming in obviously at high hydrostatic pressure here, which is gonna force water out at the arterial end, which will form the tissue fluid. But when we talk about the venule end, we're talking about this end, yeah? Where the capillary um, network is rejoining with the venule. Why is the water potential lower in here? So there are two reasons, right? The first reason is because by the time you get to the venule end of the capillary network, water has left the blood plasma. So there's less water. Yeah, because you've got high hydrostatic pressure here because of the contractions of the ventricles. It's going to force water out of the capillaries. It's going to move out of the capillaries through the endothelium, through their walls. So by the time you get down here, the blood plasma has less water. But what remains so water has left the blood plasma but large proteins remain in the blood or in the blood plasma because they are too big to pass through the walls of the capillaries the endothelium they are too large so they stay in the blood but lots of water has left so what we've got is a higher concentration of protein because you've still got the same concentration of protein but in a lower concentration of water if that makes sense so overall the concentration of proteins is now higher which leads to a lower water potential higher concentration of protein leads to lower water potential yes and that's why at the venule end water will move back in by osmosis because you've now got a low water potential in the capillaries at the venule end there's a higher water potential in the tissue fluid that surrounds the network. So water will move back in by osmosis down the water potential gradient. And remember, any tissue fluid that is not reabsorbed in that way can drain into your lymphatic system. Hopefully that's been useful. Do check out my other video on tissue fluid because these two videos kind of go together to give you the full story about what's happening at both ends of that capillary network.